When I was a kid, I had this battered old copy of Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. I used to love those poems. I still do. I adore how he can take such mundane topics and put them into such a whimsical light. One inch tall. You were only one inch tall. You'd ride a worm to school. A teardrop of a crying ant would be our swimming pool. A crumb of cake would be a feast and last you seven days at least. A flea would be a frightening beast if you were one inch tall. If you were only one inch tall, you'd walk beneath the door and it would take about a month to get down to the store. A bit of fluff would be our bed. You'd swing upon a spider's thread and wear a thimble on your head if you were one inch tall. You'd surf across the kitchen sink upon a stick of gum. You couldn't hug your mama, you could only hug her thumb. You'd run from people's feet in fright. To move a pen would take all night. This poem took 14 years to write because I'm just one inch tall. Where the sidewalk ends. There's a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white and there the sun burns crimson bright, and there the moonbird breaths from its flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black in the dark street winds and bends. Past the pit where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and we'll watch by the chalk light arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and we'll go where the chalk white arrows go. For the children, they mark, and the children, they know. Place 